hello and welcome guys to this new video today is the third part of our to-do list using Vue.js and using drag and drop okay so all we've done until now is using static data now we want this data to be saved in our firebase database okay so i've created this new uh, firebase uh, project here and i'm here in the database okay so you should choose the firestore okay because there is the real time okay so i'm going to create a new collection here let's call it to do's the first document i'm going to say read the book and let's say sorry now the first document so let's say the to do here is read a book and we are going to add a new field here let's call it status and it's gonna be the status of our field now because we have three here the to do the progress and the completed okay so i'm going to say this is in progress let's add this one uh, sorry let's add another document here the to do is gonna be watch a movie and the field is gonna be status and it's gonna be completed complete it and let's add another one read manga or something and the status is gonna be in or let's call it to do okay so this is what I'm going to do next so we have one completed we have to do one and we have in progress okay so the those are the three categories we have here okay so after we do that of course we need to go project settings and copy our config and of course we need to install the firebase package i already installed the firebase package i copied and initialized the firebase app okay after that i'm going to remove the static data we have here because we don't actually need it there you go and i'm going to import import firebase from firebase there you go now i'm going to do just like i did the next video uh, the last video so uh, the the video of the do uh, our to-do list using vue.js if you don't know how to initialize firebase or how to use the on snapshot you should go back there because i explained it how we use the on snapshot uh, when the the change happens the the types of the changes and all so i'm going to use computed here and of course i'm going to create a new course in the next days uh, use uh, a course about vue.js i'm going to go to all the basics of Vue.js until you can be able to create a Vue.js application from scratch and understand all the basic, par basic parts of it until we get to the Vuex and state management and modules, okay? So I'm going to say DB here. The computed property is going to return what? This is going to return firebase.firestore, okay? And we are going to select the collection, let's call it to do's that we just created here. Okay. Let's go back. So I'm calling this to do's. Okay. So now in our mounted here, in our mounted, we are going to call this dot db. Now dot on snapshot now we are going to have this snapshot object here so snapshot dot talk changes now we have this talk changes dot let's look through for each they sorry dot for each now we have the change here so we are going to say f change the type is gonna equal to add it there you go now here here we have three 
three choices if either we add it to the do's or the in the progress or the completed okay so i'm going to say if change dot doc dot i dot data okay dot status is equals to added uh, to do sorry there you go then this dot do's dot push the id is gonna be change dot doc dot id and the next is gonna be whatever the data we have there it's change dot doc dot data there you go like i just said i i already explained this in the vue.js to-do list i explained every line here so you could you should check that out if you don't understand this else if change dot doc dot data dot status is equals to complete it let's do the same thing here okay just here we're going to say complete it and else it's in, in progress so here it's in progress there you go i think this should work now let's check that out that out okay we have something wrong here sorry this is an object there you go and there you go now we have our three but now of course we can change but when we refresh we are not changing yet in our database now to change in the database it's pretty easy we are going to use the watch here the watch property here and we are going to watch for the change of those three the to do the completed and in progress so i'm going to say the to do's the method it's gonna have the value here of the to do's the same thing for in progress it's gonna have the value here and the same thing for completed and it's gonna have the value here there you go now all i need to do is saying this or i'm going so since to do is here is an array okay so the value here is an array of course this value is the same as this one okay so i'm going to say value dot map let's get each to do here and i'm going to say this dot firebase dot doc now the document is gonna be to do dot id dot what dot update what is this update update and now the object is gonna be what the status is gonna be to do and the to do is gonna be to do dot to do there you go so i need only to copy this code three times because it's basically the same thing i'm only going to change the the, the status here here it's gonna be in progress and here it's gonna be completed of course this is not the best way this is not the best approach because we are look we are doing so many so much code here of course the 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 thing we can do is use only only one one uh, array here and we can work with that but i already I, I only wanted to show you how we can use multiple data multiple uh, change data or different data so we can see the behavior of draggable okay and we use this draggable group okay there you go i guess this should be working now yeah let's check that out so if i change this here and i refresh this is not working yet okay let me just see what is the problem sorry so this is this dot db not this dot firebase uh, this is a 
mistake there you go now let's do this and refresh and there you go we have our data here now if we go and check we are going to see all in progress and if we refresh yeah so we can change and make all our to-dos completed the refresh nothing is happening and they are all completed okay i hope this video was easy to understand you can now see how powerful Vue.js and very and the easiness of Vue.js. Uh, next, I'm going to do a course about Vue.js, like I just said. I'm going to go from beginning to the state management and the modules and Vuex, okay? And I see you in the next video.